Tesla style. Hi guys, the dream of Nikola Tesla was to supply the entire world with electricity wirelessly. He first discovered such a device in 1890, which could produce high voltage, high frequency electricity. The name of the device was the Tesla coil, as you know. In this demonstration, I'm using a self-resonated Tesla coil, at one, known as a Slayer Exciter or a Catcher Provin. The primary, the primary coil passes a current to a secondary coil, creating high voltage low current, which shoots out as a discharge. It is about a resonant transformer. In this task, I'm going to demonstrate you right after the introduction. Primary coil, secondary coil. Discharges. In this schematic, you may see the way how the Tesla coil works. As I said before, it's about a self-resonate Tesla coil. The gate of the MOSFET IRF530, right there, is switched by the current through the resistor 1 kilo ohm and 25 kilo ohm variable resistor from the power supply closing the switch and allowing the current to flow through the primary coil L1 right here and this inducted current in the secondary coil L2 here through the feedback from the aluminium ring this is the aluminium ring right there turns the MOSFET thus opening the circuit for the cycle to start again that means that, the that uh, this frequency is self-regulating and the whole circuit resonates. In order to see how the, radi uh, the radiant energy from the Tesla coil acts, I'm presenting you this setup. An aluminium plate, right here, placed far from the coil, the Tesla coil, and is connected with two LEDs right here in opposite direction, as you can see. Now the other end of the LEDs is connected direct, directly to the ground. It's very simple. And the, this whole setup acts as a resonant energy detector. Now, in the experiment, this is the Tesla coil, as I told you before. This is the metal plate, the LEDs, and the connection to the ground, right here. First of all, I have to place it far from the coil, over there, and I'm turning on. Now. I turn on the Tesla coil and as you see the LEDs are both of them lit on, both of them. This is just because the radiant energy in this case is alternative current directly for the, from the coil. This is the neon lamp. lights up as you see from the high voltage the same as this one right here on the oscilloscope you may see the radiant energy what it is with fre the frequency is 975 kilohertz and 12 volts, 59 milliamps, uh, the power supply. Now, if uh, this metal plate turned a little bit closer to the coil, right there, of course, the two LEDs are shining more than before. As every time closer, we have the maximum. 
of the power. Another thing is that the, the ground this can, is not connected to the Tesla coil. The Tesla coil has no connection to the ground, not at all. Now, the LEDs have been removed from this uh, setup and instead of them I put an incandescent light bulb from a microwave oven 10 watts 220 volt. This is the bulb right here. And I'm turning on. Nothing because the I don't have too much power to lead it up. But as you see, doesn't matter if the plate is so close to the coil, doesn't uh, respond to the bulb. But if I place this metal bulb closer to the coil, right there, the bulb begins to lit up, as you see. And I'm using the radiant energy in th this time to light up the bulb. This is the consume of the setup. And the outer coil. Now I connect a wire here at the emitter of the MOSFET. I'm trying to connect it with the ground. The pipe is lit up as you see. Connect to the ground. Just a little bit, a little bit more. Read, I'm touching. Just a little bit. In this experiment, we are going to tune the circuit right here to the resonant frequency of the Tesla coil through L1 and L2 coils and a capacitor. Note that I have also a current detector right here uh, around uh, the ground wire. In this setup, I'm gonna try to present you how to achieve resonance between a Tesla coil acting as a transmitter and a non-tuned uh, receiver circuit right behind it. Uh, note that the Tesla coil has no ground connection here, not at all. The only ground, ground connection is at the circuit uh, right here at the very end. Uh, the receiver circuit uh, has two coils. The large one uh, concludes from uh, 800 turns of uh, one millimeter copper wire at the very uh, uh, at the top of the coil. The wire is free in the air. At the very end, is connected to the beginning of the other coil. So, uh, 140 turns. Every 10 turns, there is a tap here. And the very, uh, the very end is connected with the ground. Also, the light bulb is connected, uh, first of all, to uh, the ground and to the second tap right here of the coil. And uh, I guess uh, this is a variable capacitor. Two cylinder, uh, plastic cylinder with aluminium foil. with uh, isolation to each other of course let me show you right here this is about this capacitor i'm turning on here now 5 voltage, high frequency through a neon lamp right here on the Tesla coil. At the receiver circuit, nothing. Also here, nothing. And the bulb, of course. As you see, there is no movement in the no electrons. 
This is the signal from the Tesla coil. As was usual, 972 kilohertz. Now, I'm trying to uh, tune it through this capacitor. Right here. This is the consumer of the circuit right here and also the distance between the tesla coil and the first coil of the receiver can be tuned from a better result just have the look at the bulb the distance uh, plays a big role to it because only there who have uh, this kind of energy in the line now through this capacitor as i showed you before can tune all the receiver circuit, of course, as you see now, there is high voltage, high frequency at the first coil. But right here, no, only on the, very, uh, on the, on the top of uh, the coil. At the end, there is no high, high voltage because it's a current. Right here we have current. High voltage and high current. Just have a look. If I disconnect the circuit, you see, if I, I'm, I'm, I'm tuning other tabs, the efficiency is not there anymore. This is at, at the third. At the second is the higher. And at the, at the first, a little bit less than the other. So the best uh, way is uh, the second tab as you see it is about tuning of course you can tune it to the third to the first or to the fourth through this capacitor for the great results and also the distance between the receiver coil and the tesla coil i'm doing it again you see the bulb is not uh, has not efficiency anymore and now it's in the middle has more right there and right there i think it's you can see it, the difference to see that the, the distance plays also a great role to the tuning of the whole system and also there's another another thing that i'm going to show you now if i disconnect the lamp i have here a coil of a 330 uh, micro henry with a lead on it and acts as a current detector if i tune it again from the capacitor you see it that means that uh, uh, through the ground uh, connection there is current this time and this current is located right here in this coil this is why if i connect it to the bulb i have the power here and not there anymore it's here of course i can make the tuning better right there right now i have disconnected the light bulb from the L2, only the ground is there, and uh, see how it acts at the oscilloscope. This is the, the yellow probe, it's the Tesla coil, and this is uh, the violet, the receiver circuit. It is not uh, correct to the phase, but if I, if I connect the, the bulb yet here right now, it is out of phase. I'm disconnecting the lamp and I'm connecting it back. You see how it acts. This is the resonance of the coils. One last thing I wanted to show you. If you run the circuit with a battery, all this radiant energy is around everywhere. See, 
right here on the battery on the capacitor also radiant everywhere 